Now, good morning and welcome to today's video from Yoker Evangelical Church. Today is Monday, the 24th of August, and in our reading this morning, we read 1 Samuel 16 and Romans chapter 14. And I want to take a look at just one verse from our passage in 1 Samuel that really encouraged me this morning. Uh, that actually reminded me why it is so good to be loved by God, uh, to be part of his family. As we look at this passage, we have to start by asking a question. How does God choose people? When God chooses to use somebody to save somebody, what is it that God looks for in that person that makes them worthy of being saved? In our story today, we saw that the prophet Samuel was on the look for a new king of Israel. Uh, the old king Saul has failed, and so Samuel needs to go out and find somebody new to lead God's people. And even though he's a prophet of God, Samuel falls into the trap here. He looks for the things that the world looks for. When he tries to find a king, he wants the biggest, tallest, best looking man for the job. He wants the man who is going to look the most impressive as he sits with the crown on his head. He looks for glory. And yet, as we read through our passage, we see that that is entirely the opposite of the things that God looks for in his leaders. Just look down with me at verse six and seven. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. That is a wake up call for what God looks at. He does not look at what we look for, but he looks at the heart. We see there a little bit the ugliness of a world guided by what people look like is. If we were to follow the world's example of judging people by their outside appearance, their abilities, their intelligence, their beauty, their strength, their height, their visible greatness to us, their usefulness. Actually, it leads to a world that is driven by fear. If all your worth comes from who you are and what you can do, then you stand to lose that. If all your glory comes out of your height and good looks, when that goes, you've lost your worth. It is such good news that God does not judge people by outward appearances because they are fleeting. This is instead a comfort that God doesn't look at our strength, intelligence, beauty or greatness. He instead looks at the heart. This is comfort for people that the world dismisses. I love that church is full of people who to the world look weak, foolish, like me. At people who don't have any outward worth and yet God chose these people. He chose them not even because their hearts were better, but because he chose them out of the goodness of his heart. God's mercy means that there is nothing that we did to deserve being chosen by him, but he did it anyway. God chooses people from his freely given mercy. And that is a truth I want us to celebrate today, uh, to examine ourselves and see where do we get our worth? from who we are and what we can do? Where are we tempted to find our value in our abilities? And how can we submit to God and say, these things don't impress you. I just need your mercy. Our hope today is not in who we are, but in who God is. I hope you have a great day today and trust in him. God bless.